welcome to PC Woods Kits Tech Talk. Today we're looking at a triple channel kit from OCZ. This one here is the gold version. They have many triple channel kits. This six gigabyte version, two gigabytes each module, is intended for the Intel Core i7 systems, for example, using the X58 chipset. Meets the low voltage requirements. It's rated at 2133 megahertz. Okay, so we're gonna get high bandwidth transfer speeds. Um, and the timings are 10, 10, 10, 30. Okay, that's the default. But we can tweak it and overclock it and try to get the maximum performance as possible out of this. As usual, this is high quality memory, so we would expect good results from this as well as their support and warranty. It's terrific. Now, looking at those eight chips that are sandwiched in there in between those heat spreaders, the XTC heat spreaders, um, they're low profile, obviously, these heat spreaders, so they don't get in the way with your CPU coolers and um, it's got that honeycomb you know those little holes there so that way the heat dissipates very nicely through there okay and uh, I like the design they haven't changed it and I'm glad here's the test system that I'll be installing it in of course okay and we're gonna try and scale and use different bias settings and test them all first we start at the defaults okay so that means 10 10 10 30 we're not overclocking, we're not changing anything except for my CPU. My CPU, I always want it to run at four gigahertz. I want it overclocked. So the challenge is to try to get this memory stable with my CPU overclocked. Now I did try different timings. I did try different CPU settings. Here are all the different uh, scenarios. So you have a good idea on how I tested the memory, okay? And how it scales because when we first start testing it with Everest, you see the read, write, and copy. Those are the megabytes per second. That's the transfer speeds. I'm always looking to see, okay, if I tweak things in the bias, and that's what I did. I, I changed things from 10.10.10 10, 10 to 9.9.9 and 888, and then I changed the frequencies. You see how it scales and the benchmark results increase depending on what the timings and the frequencies are. Same thing here with PC Mark Vantage. Now, there's not too much of a difference between CL8 and CL10, but the big difference in PC Mark Vantage for CL9, okay? Now, one thing that I did, just to double check, okay, how are my tweaks doing? If you run the SuperPi, you can see here 10.28 seconds to calculate 1 million uh, decimals on Pi. And um, if I change and tweak again the timings and the frequency, I got the best results at CL9. So that's 99924 at 1964 megahertz. So you can see there 10.06 seconds is the best results that I've got overall, okay, for calculating pi to 1 million decimals compared to other memory modules that you can see below at the bottom of the screen. So terrific results here at CL9. That's one thing that I like about it. It's low profile, okay? It doesn't interfere with your CPU coolers. That's another thing that I like about it. It's got excellent quality and warranty, okay? And minimum voltage increase because you don't wanna uh, accidentally break your CPU, right? So you don't wanna have to increase it too high the, to overclock. But it did not come with XMP profiles, okay? Some memory modules do from OCZ, but this one doesn't, so I wish it did. Um, other than that, terrific results. Definitely recommend it. And I'd like to thank OCZ for providing it, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.